Okay, here's the next question. This looks like a little bit of uh, grade 11 quadratic patterns. Guys, you know that there are three different types of patterns that you can get. There is arithmetic. This is the one that has a constant difference. Then you get geometric, which is a um, constant ratio. And then you get the one from grade 11, which is a quadratic. And that's when you have a constant second difference. Constant second difference. Okay, I see some of you are saying you never did that last year. Okay, um, so let's see if we can explain it for you guys. Okay, so this is the one that we are doing. Um, whoops, this is the one that we are doing now. All right, so let's see how it's going to work. Remember to log into the online course and you can watch all of the videos that are there already. So for example, if you need to know grade 11 quadratic patterns, you just log in, go to grade 11 maths, go to number patterns, and then you'll find all of it there. Remember guys, the online course has everything that you need. These lessons that we are doing right now, this is just to give you a little bit of extra help, but the online course already has so many videos that you can watch at home by yourself. Okay, please remember that. All right, so um, if we carry on here, um, we've got 5, 10, 17. Actually, let me write it a little bit bigger for you guys. So can you see what's happening here? Um, what we have here is this one is going up by 5. This one is going up by seven, and this one is going up by nine. Can you see what happens now? If we go to the next level, then it goes up by two. That is a quadratic number pattern. The second level becomes constant, plus two, plus two, plus two, plus two the whole time, okay? It's not the same as the grade 12 arithmetic. In the grade 12 arithmetic, it would be more like this, 8, 10, 12, 14, because then you're just plusing 2, plusing 2, plusing 2. So this would be the first difference. But in grade 11, we looked at the second difference that becomes constant. That is called a quadratic number pattern. Now, you should know that for arithmetic, I'm just doing a bit of revision for you guys. This is an exam practice after all. So for arithmetic, we know that the formula goes like this. For a geometric, the formula goes like this. And then for quadratic, it's almost like a parabola. So it goes like this. Goes like that. Okay, now, Ladies and gentlemen, the way to solve A, B, and C is I want you to circle these three numbers. Your teacher might do it a little bit differently, but um, I'm just going to use this method for tonight. So you circle those three numbers. Um, a n squared plus B n plus C. And then I want you to write the following formulas. 2A over here. 3A plus B over here. And then, um, sorry, I'm battling to squeeze this in, uh, A plus B plus C. Okay, so um, that's going to be 3A plus B. Now, guys, uh, it's very easy from here on out. You start here at the bottom. So you say 2A equals 2. So you can solve for A. Therefore, A will be equal to 1. Then you go up to the next level. 3A plus B equals 5. And so we already know what A is. So we can solve for B and we'd find that B is two. And then we can go to the top level, A plus B plus C equals to five. And so A is one, B is two, C is, um, we don't know. And then you can solve for C. And so C will be equal to two. There we go, guys. So we solved everything. Oh, wow. A, oh no, A is one. So now we can say that TN is equal to um, N squared plus, where's B? Oh, there, 2N plus 2. Oh, I didn't even answer 2.1.1. I do apologize for that. Uh, they wanted us to write down the next two terms. 
So I was already doing the next question. So that's plus 11. So that means this will be, um, so that means this will become 37. And then plus 13. So that will become uh, 50. So there's the next two terms, guys, 37 and 50. Okay, let's quickly erase, 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 erase. All right, guys, so that is how you solve a quadratic number pattern. Now I'm quickly going to go through the next one. Which term will have a value of 1,765? So what you do is you put the 1,765 over here. And so that's going to give us um, 1765 equals to n squared plus 2n plus 2. Now I'm going to go very fast because I don't want to waste your guys' time. This is easy. You just bring the 1765 over n squared plus 2n uh, minus 1763. Let me just make sure about that. 2 minus 1765. Right. And then we use the quadratic formula. So you, you guys know how to do that by now. So I'm not going to waste any time. OK, and we get two answers, n equals to 41 or n equals to negative 43. But remember, you cannot get a negative answer for n. So we'll say that, uh, therefore, n is equal to 41. OK, very easy question. For those of you that haven't done quadratic patterns before, go watch the online course. I've got a whole chapter just on that. OK, so let's move on, guys.